All right, I'm here on the Steve Woko show trying to like, prove that I want to see my daughter because my bitter baby's mom is not letting me see my child until like this is all said and done. So I came on here just to show her like, and prove to her that what is being said about me and what I've been doing isn't true. Taylor saying basically like I'm out here taking advantage of different girls, having sex with them without their permission. You know what I mean? Like that's just causing for me to look bad on my name basically saying I'm raping them, doing anything I want to them. And what she's hearing is not true, but you know, so it's like she's using this against me just to hold my baby from me. And the worst part is here is like, the, the, they saying that I raped a minor. It, it's, it's impossible for me to do that. Never been a sex offender, never been called out like this in my life, you know what I mean? But I don't rape women, I never did. That's not in my blood. And, and, and honestly, where it all sparked is I cheated on Taylor about three times, two, three times, you know what I mean? So, and that's what probably got her like, thinking I'm doing anything I want out here. But my whole thing is I'm not raping no girls. She left my home without me knowing, took, took my truck, took my daughter, you know, without me even knowing. So it's like, I woke up and she was gone. I don't feel myself getting back with Taylor at all. You know what I mean? Because it's like, this is out of control. This is something I can't even wish upon nobody's relationship, you know what I mean? So. We're done after this. It's all about my daughter, and that's it. We're going to straight co-parents after that. The fact that he's saying that I'm being a bitter baby mom for leaving him, like, I feel like I'm protecting my daughter, if anything. Like, you have multiple people saying that you did outrageous things to them, like taking advantage of females. What mother wouldn't leave their, their child's father because you're saying, you know, th people are saying stuff like that? Uh, what was the first red flag you saw in 2017? 2017, I, you know, seen him cheating, you know, he would get drunk and fall asleep and with his phone open. So I said, okay, I'm gonna go, you know, be curious and go through his phone. First message I see on his phone is some girl saying, you took advantage of me in my own house, how can you do this? Next morning comes, I ask him, what's this message about? His response is, oh no, that's just, um, I called, backed up my phone, those messages are old. And I'm like, well, what kind of, like, Am I dumb? No, I'm not. I'm not, I wasn't born yesterday. These messages are here in your recent messages. I said, okay, well, you know, whatever. Nothing ever came about with any police or anything, so I let it slide. And what happened a month later? About a month later, there was another girl. I knew her, and, you know, she inboxed me and was like, hey, this dude raped me, can you come get me? I was over at my mother's house, so I didn't have a vehicle to come get her. She never told me who raped her. She never said what happened. She just left a message at that. And nothing ever came about. The next day, we get a phone call saying that, oh, this girl is saying that you raped her and there's an active warrant out for your arrest. And I'm like, so what is this about? He tells me, I told her if she wants to sit on my bed, she has to take her outside clothes off. She thought it was a joke, so you know, she brushed it off. And he told me that's all there was to the story. No cops ever came, so I, once again, didn't think anything of it because of the fact that there was never any police came, no charges, no charges were filed, nothing happened. So I brushed that side, you know, brushed it off, and that was all there was to it at that time. And we were on the phone with her, and she yells, he raped me, he raped me. When she said that, he hangs the phone up on her and says, I don't know what she's talking about, and if I did have sex with her, it was consensual. That girl was nasty, is what he told me, and that's where he got the that, you know, that was his way of saying that's what she did and that's all there was to it. That doesn't justify anything. If you did something, you did something, whether somebody's nasty or not, that don't give you the right to take advantage of anybody. What? <laughs> and what was the accusation that came up last week? There was a minor that I was told got a phone call. He was with some people and overnight, whenever the mother was, you know, in the bathroom, the girl said that he came in her room, told her to stand up and turn around, you have some nice legs. Why are you telling a minor to stand up and turn around at three in the morning out of their sleep? What sicko does stuff like that? And did she say he did anything to her? Never said he did anything. The mother had him escorted out and the police came and just had him go home. There was never any police report taken, no, no report, nothing, nothing happened. He didn't go to jail which is understandable, because if he didn't touch her, yeah, I'm like, okay, that explains why he didn't go to jail. Um, now, you, you don't want to be with him, right? Mm-mm. Okay. And he's saying he doesn't want to be with you now. 
but you don't allow him to see his daughter. You want him to pass his lie detector test. And if he were to fail... That's on him. He's going to look like a big jackass because at the end of the day, you're, this is what you're doing. You're a father. You have a daughter to raise. What, what, like, you have to prove to her that no man should be taking advantage of any woman. That's how I look at it. Hey, listen. Listen, you know, you know for a fact... I'm going to tell you this here. You know for a fact, before we even got into a relationship, we known each other for two months. You dig what I'm saying? I broke it down to you. I was a hoe. I had a lot of women. You know what I'm saying? I did this and then the third. I never, ever once did nothing wrong to no women out here on no tight time like that. Yeah, I had sex with women. Yeah. Rough sex, if they want to call that if they want to call that stuff rape, then it's rape, then. Whatever they want to call it. Rough sex is whatever. It's consensual, though. But I like rough I never, sex. Why I never, you never do it to me I then? never, ever rape no girl out here. Right, but I, I like rough day, sex. Why don't you never do why, it to why, me? Listen, what I'm saying is, though, why don't you let me... Why don't you even let me continue a relationship with you? Because every time I tried to leave, it was always an issue. Why don't you even continue a relationship with me? The same if, reason if, why if I was, said every time I left, I it end. was always an issue. You would fight when I leave, but you wouldn't fight for me. That don't got nothing to do with what I'm saying with right now about what I'm asking you. Why did you continue a relationship with me? I just told you why. There was no point. Why did you even let me have a baby with you? Hi, my name is Jazz. When I was 16 years old, a man named Josh took advantage of me. He got me very intoxicated and proceeded to me, take off my pants and do other things. But that was the secret that I held in for a very long time. When I did finally speak on it, I was told that I was lying, a whole bunch of different things like that, which makes it hard for victims to speak up. And I don't want to consider myself a victim. I am a survivor, so I believe that this man should be reprimanded. I hope this information helps you guys. Thank you. The first one uh, is about this girl, Shay, who was just on the voicemail. We mm -hmm. asked you, did you ever have sexual activity with Shay when she was passed out? You refused to answer any questions about Shay, even though even though Dan told you the first and last name of Shay, he said that he did not know who we were talking about. He said he's had sexual activity with several Shays. But we did tell you her first name and her last name, and you are refusing to answer the questions whether you had sex with her. <laughs> Guilty right there. We asked you, did you use force to have sexual physical contact with Taylor's friend in question? You answered no. Was the sex you had with Taylor's friend consensual? You answered yes. The results for those two questions uh, came back that Josh did not tell the truth. Exactly my point. Exactly my point. I don't point. know how he told the truth. She told me in full detail everything that happened. I don't, I don't know how. I don't, I, don't, I don't get that That's one, That's okay. Because they all gonna know about this one, baby. They all gonna know get about that one, this though. one. And I guarantee that. I don't that. get that one, though. Did you ever have any sexual physical contact with the minor in question? Um, you answered no. Did you ever have sexual intercourse with the minor in question? You answered no. The results came back the same to each one of those questions. Told the truth. And it came back that you did not tell the truth. Oh, I had sex with no manner. Oh, I had sex with no manner. Uh, Taylor, what happened since the show? Well, since the show, me and Josh have broken up. We haven't been together. The baby hasn't seen her dad since we've broken up. Um, she's only seen him through su supervised visits. And that's been about it. Yeah. And so he's really not making an effort to be in her life. No, he wants to, but the fact that he cannot be honest about him doing the things that he has done to these females, so to this day, he doesn't admit anything. You know, so just time will just heal her, you know what I mean? It's all going to take a little bit of time for all of us, actually. I'm just hoping that he does get put away so that he doesn't, you know, try this act on anyone else, especially his own daughter. Because without this show, a lot of people were obviously thinking, you know, we were crazy, everything's been made up. Because, you know, he's been telling everybody that the show's fake. Um, the results are fake, according to him. Um, he's been real. He said he failed the test because he said he was confused on the question. So hopefully people, you know, decide to put some common sense and two and two together this time and see that this stuff is real. I think he's been exposed... Uh, the good thing is he is uh, facing charges right now. Hopefully he goes away for a long time. Again, I wish you guys all luck in the world if there's anything that we can Thank do you. to help you. And again, if you'll keep us updated with what happens with his uh, trial.
Thank you so much, Thank Steve. Thank you, Steve. Okay, take care. Josh was accused of being a monster time and time again. The sheer number and nature of the allegations against him were very disturbing. And even though I know it was hard for Taylor to have this realization about the father of her child, I was so proud of her for having the strength to bring the situation to light. Taylor helped me expose Josh on my show, and that, along with the brave women who spoke out against him, resulted in his conviction. We have learned that Josh pleaded guilty to corruption of minors, concealment of whereabouts of a child, and indecent assault, persons less than 13 years of age. And per the court documents we obtained, this carries a sentence of 18 to 36 months. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's gonna watch this and say, you know what, she was brave enough to do that, I can do that too. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help.